All right, good day, lasses and blokes. This is Isaiah good Bloody day. Diesel at RIT Podcast. Good How's day. that accent? How's that good accent, Mr. Lee? All bad. right, that was okay? All right. Yeah, right. not bad. Uh, here at RIT Podcast, we try to be culturally sensitive, so I got my Peaky, Peaky Blinder hat on. What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good. And yeah. he raised the blade in there. <laughs> Just in my mouth. But... um. <laughs> Actually, I, I went to school with the with with the with an American guy who thought he was from England because every day he'd come into school like with his briefcase and like with one of these hats on and like a total suit, like he was going to Oxford or something. It's pretty funny, but uh, yeah, that's actually, real. Uh, I mean, that's just a, a real American view of what. Oh, really? Funny, which is absolutely. I don't know anyone like that. You know what I mean? There may be. <laughs> You know, in the upper class, but I don't know anyone of that. You know, I, that, that, I don't recognise that person. Do you know what I mean? So, so you don't know any Peaky Blinders? I know some criminals, but uh, I don't know any, uh, you know, uh, Peaky Blinders these days, unfortunately. Not, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Lee, this is going to be your second... Oh, sorry, so I am I am from Birmingham, actually. So, uh, so those Peaky Blinders were from uh, two or three miles away from where I am literally sitting now. So yeah, so they are part of my heritage. It wasn't. I love that. Yeah, the, you know, the, it's not as portrayed as as the uh, the characters on screen. So that it's it's slightly different, but uh, they were. They, they, I don't think Tommy existed, for instance. But there were Peaky Blinders around, yeah. Panic on the streets of Birmingham. You yeah. know that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, one but, of my favorite. Great, well, it's um, in London, but yeah, great. Mm-hmm. They were great. I really like British music, but I got to say, the best thing to come out of Britain. Um, has been since since Oasis has been a Margin Merkel. She's Who? been the best thing to come out of Margin Megan. Sorry, Megan Markle. Oh yeah, yeah. She's she, she's yeah. Well, she's American, isn't she? Yeah. That, well, that's the point. Yeah. Nothing's good's yeah. coming out of England. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, she's all right. You, got, you guys are murdering the music there for a while, but uh, we yeah. seem to have taken over the pop the pop culture. So, uh, so real quick, I was wondering if you could tell me uh, what you thought about our first interaction. Uh, this is going to be your second time. So, yeah, uh, yeah. what did you think about that? Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed yeah. it. I've shown, I've showed people, you know. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Did they? No, did no. they think? Did they think you made an arse out of yourself? Uh, the, the exact opposite. <laughs> you made an arse out of me. <laughs> hey, uh, well, thank you for for not using profanity because. Uh, in in England, I've learned this from talking to British people. The F word is not a cuss word. It's like a comma. It's like a space between your next sentence. So yeah. I've never heard. Yeah, people have this. You talk about conceptions that people have, but yeah, people have this concept that British people are all uh, polite and uh, you know civil. <laughs> and man, you guys talk drop more profanity than anyone I've ever heard before. So, yeah. uh, you know, that being said, I do want to ask you before we get into our topic, because we always like to start off with something friendly to keep these conversations from going too wild. Uh, but I was wondering if you could tell me, have you um, have you have you watched uh, any of the British? I guess what is it like Downtown Abbey or uh, The Crown? Or what's the what's the big one right now? What's the big yeah, one? I mean, uh, I've watched the Crown. I've watched the Crown. That was pretty good. I mean, I'm not traditionally a royalist fan, but hmm. my, my missus, my missus is a, she's a huge uh, royalist, and so she's got me into it more. We went to Windsor Castle and things like that. So that was I'm getting into them, but I just you know there's there's that much baggage with them, you know Andrew yeah, and yeah. things like that. So you know <laughs> they've got a place I think, and it, she's coming up to a a next, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jubilee celebration in June, I think it is. But, uh, yeah, you know, the Queen hasn't done much wrong. But, you know, a lot of roles have over the centuries, of course. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, uh, you can't really blame too much on Andrew. I mean, you can't. Don't get me wrong. He deserves Mm -hmm. his blame. But, I mean... It's not like you can really solely that name uh, the 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 royals. I put him in quote royals. There's yeah. been plenty of bad stuff that's happened um, in that yeah. in that family and, and so on. So, um, what's the other big one? It's like Brighton Brightonton. 
Oh, uh, uh, Brigerton. Oh, Brigerton. Okay. Uh, well, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just that busy. I've got that, I'm that busy schedule. I've got a massive social life, and I, mm -hmm. I watch a, a bit. I don't watch anything live or anything, so I record everything on Skype. So I'm just that do you? What, what do you think is the like? Not just, I guess, not just American obsession, but people's uh, obsession with with Britain and. Uh, specifically that family uh, I think history, on that? because obviously your history is much much less than ours obviously uh, the americans have kind of got you know 250 years worth of history wherever it is and we've got uh, you know centuries upon centuries so it's a lot of history there so i think it's the history side of things for us you know from henry the eighth and and this that and the other you know what i mean so you know the and the royals are kind of part of that and uh, it's a i mean the the castles and and the palaces are, you know, really opulent. So and it, 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 we're just fascinated. We were fascinated. It's opened up more now because the press and the, the social media aspect of things, we know more about them. But before, that was all protected, wasn't they? The, the, anything was in the press, was just released from the palace. So no one kind of knew anything about it, but we know much more now, more than maybe I'd like to. You know what I mean? Have, so you, ever, have you ever went to the palace and tried to get one of the guys to laugh or something? Uh, no, I've not tried that, but I've seen those guys, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, I mean, you can't knock the British soldier or any soldier, really. They're, they're brave, brave guys, <laughs> so I've never knock a soldier. You know, did, I, did, I, think it, I think it's a little bit misguided occasionally that they go into war and they don't really know why they're going to war. Uh, but, you know, I fight for my, my children's liberty and things like that, but, uh, you know, the politicians don't fight. That's, I'm just putting that out there. Do you ever see? Do you ever see sometimes when the people get really close and they yell at them? Yeah, they're like yeah. Oh, from the Queen's Guard, mate. Yeah, and uh, they're, they're reacting, haven't they? They're, I think I've seen a video of, of one of the Queen's Guards uh, slapping someone because he got a bit too close. Yeah, well, that, yeah. there's this. There's a really funny video of this uh, this American guy, and he goes there, and. He starts telling him a bunch of jokes, and you could see the guy is like he's trying his best to not laugh. He's like, yeah, <laughs> he just yeah. starts he just starts laughing. And actually, I'll tell you one other quick story before we get into the topic. But Nancy Cartwright, do you know who she is? What the uh, the, the Simpsons? Uh, the Simpsons. She yeah. went there. And she started talking like Bart Simpson to one of the guys, and he just he just snapped. So uh, okay. That being said, uh, do you get a chance to check out any of the questions I sent you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't okay. think about them. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, yeah, this is genuine. Just to kind of break the ice here. What are your thoughts about the royal family? Uh, do, do you think it's a bit outdated or is it just kind of like they're just mouthpieces so nobody really takes them seriously? Or what is just your average? What's the average opinion, would you say? If uh, I think the majority do like the Queen especially the queen uh kind of no one likes andrew at the moment obviously uh yeah some people don't like um uh, harry for going to america uh but william and katie the, 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 the i think people, most people like them yeah i think there's a place the royal still so you know it, it brings a little in. and uh and the, and the queen's great she's got no power or anything like that she can suggest things but uh she's a figurehead really She's older than Jesus Christ himself, man. I mean, that lady. Well, yeah, he was only thirty-three. So, yeah, absolutely. She is. She is seriously old. I mean, she just had a birthday too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. She's did. There's two birthdays. Yeah, she has two birthdays. One, one of be sure, another birthday, and then there's a seventieth year on the throne coming up on June, June the second, I think. And and last year, who was it that died? Was it her husband that died? Yeah, yeah, Prince yeah. Uh, Philip. Yeah. I um, really don't was, keep track. He was a force to reckon with proper okay. geezer. Am I am I right to say that the Queen is the official state of the Church of England? Is that right? Yeah, she's the head of she's the head of the Church of England, yeah. Which And we're, they're Anglican. They're yeah, Anglican. Uh, is it Anglican? I don't know if it's Anglican, but uh no, it's uh well, I don't know that. I don't know. Just the head of the church. Head of the she, she is. Okay. So yeah. does that right off the top, let me fire back, fire one at you. Does that give you pause to be supportive of someone who has like a religious um, 
a uh, religious title? Like, does, does that give you any pause or what? Mm, I don't. I mean, I, I'm I'm I slightly fall into the camp of uh, Hitchens there. I'm a bit of an anti-theist. I don't know. I just I just don't like religion. I, I like discussing it with people. I never slag them off personally. I just I'm just baffled as to why they believe something with their evidence. I'm just, I'm just it just baffles me. I don't well, know. what's I mean? I, I don't want to get too much into this right now, but what you might consider evidence or, or uh, we wouldn't be believing something if we didn't have evidence on something. You know, you may not find it compelling or convincing, mm -hmm. but we wouldn't be making giant sacrifices in our lives and not doing the things that we want to do um, if we weren't basing it off of something that yeah, we've experienced. I mean, you know, so, it may be evidence for you guys, but uh, if, if it was actual evidence, there'd be no atheists and there'd be no other religions, but there is. So... Subjective evidence is kind of, you know, what it says on the tin, it's not real evidence as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, you know I mean? uh, maybe I'll touch a bit on that uh, yeah. no, because I, I didn't really answer this question. I mean, we can we can get back to that, but yeah. you didn't really answer the question of, like, does that give you pause to su be supportive of someone who is a, um, you know, has a religious title, is the this head of the state or whatever? Yeah, I mean, you know, as long as they're nice per a, a nice person doing nice things for you know to help other people, you can call yourself what you want. If you if your name but you call yourself Beelzebub, but if you're doing nice and you're a nice person, I've got no issues with that. Your religion comes to, second to me. Do you know what I mean? That's fair. Mm -hmm. And so, as far as the religion goes, though, is she more of a figurehead? Is she? Yeah, yeah. She doesn't. I don't think she owns any power or anything like that. She just they just put people in these places. You know, it's like uh, these uh, real uh, businessmen with millions of dollars. They're just the head of a company. They don't actually do anything. They're just uh, the names mm -hmm. on the the names on it. No, that's all. That's yeah. All. Speaking of which, uh, Elon Musk just bought Twitter this week. I'm not sure if you saw that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so getting into the second question, uh, what do you, uh, should faith play a role at all in policy or uh, what are you talking about? No, the church, separation of church and states, absolutely, it's got to be there. So there's, 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 what would, if people are um, casting laws that they think they're godded like, we're into a whole load of trouble. See, and that's, I, I, I agree with that even as a Christian because... Yeah. Uh, I'm a Protestant, so like I really don't want Catholics getting control and putting laws against me or Baptists. Well, the, 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 there's a lot of uh, states that do that, though, isn't there? In America, yeah. you know, with the, the abortion laws and things like that. Yeah. So the thing is, like, we can actually find common ground on this because mm -hmm. I don't really, yeah. I don't I, I can't really understand that like like personally I'm really against abortion myself but I don't really see how you know I don't really see how like a Christian says that not only are we against this but you can't therefore practice that like like gay marriage yeah. for example I'm personally against gay marriage but mm. I don't see what right I would have to like tell a gay person they couldn't get married i just it doesn't even I, I don't even know where to start with that because it doesn't it's not something i want to spend my time yeah, thinking yeah, about you're, you're kind of a, a progressive christian then but you're going against your bible there really so i'm glad no. of that. please no, please I'm, continue to go against your bible because i'm glad no. of that you're not you're not no. you, you know you know you know those christians um that um stand at the the gates of the funerals who are those guys now you know in america the, the yeah the westboro chapter yeah now they say Baptist. they say they're going yeah they say they're going directly with the bible so they're they're, okay. they're saying gays are so, like that. so you're so against I, that which is good well i wouldn't call myself a, a progressive christian um there well, is a not, difference no because yeah. if i were if i were what you would consider progressive i would say like yeah i'm I'm, I think being gay is okay, or I think being trans is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that, but on the other hand, I'm not going to say that the government's job is to stop people from transitioning. Like, I don't, I don't see, like, the government has a job to do. It's like if I walked into church and I said to my pastor, 
hey, there's a there's a bridge down the street that needs to be fixed. It needs to be paved or whatever. He would tell you, go talk to the city call city hall or whatever, you know? Hey, so yeah, I, I believe on a personal level, it's it's I personally am against those things uh, mm -hmm. because I don't I don't think that that's even good for the people. But mm -hmm. so so I don't consider myself what you might call a progressive because the other part of that is that the Bible also tells me that I need to honor the laws of the land. So at least in America, I can tell you in America, I can have a different conversation about America and South Korea because I live in mm -hmm. South Korea. But in America. The government cannot pass laws one way or the other to support Christianity or Buddhism mm -hmm. or Islam. Okay. So if I wanted prayer in school or if I wanted only heterosexual marriage, I would have to be appealing to the Bible. And, and that's, I can't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, in South Korea, they don't have the same kind of laws that say you can't go into the high schools and like preach the gospel because I've worked with organizations who can do that. So mm -hmm. it's a different law for a different land. But you got any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I I was taught religion in schools, but in a, a you know in a religious setting, and not in a, um, for instance, uh, you know, the creation story. Uh, I mean, there's there's hundreds of creation myth stories, and now some sneaky sneaky Christians, may I say, have uh, retitled that, haven't they? Would you call it now? Um, Oh, what do they call it now? Uh, what do they call it now? Not uh, uh, the, the, the creation, not the Genesis story. Uh, they, they, they've re they're trying to retitle it to get it into the schools and being taught. Oh, intelligent design? Yeah, intelligent yeah, the intelligent design argument, yeah. So uh, that's just a sneaky way of mis- uh, you know, uh, just relabeling. Uh, just the, the Christian Genesis story, and there's hundreds and hundreds of creation stories, like the Greek creation story, you know, Sumerian creation story, you know, the, the Genesis one, just another another one to, as far as I'm concerned, just to, uh, you know, fill in the gaps of our knowledge. So, so but what are your thoughts about, like, um, I'm sure you're familiar with Daniel Dennett, who's like, he was one of the four men of the apocalypse. Notice yeah, like yeah. half of the apocalypse, the guys from the apocalypse were from England. You had Hitchens, or I guess he's not around anymore, but you had Hitchens, Dawkins. And then, yeah. so half of them from the US and half of them from the, yeah, yeah you guys produced yeah. the worst atheists on the planet, man, I gotta say. But anyway, what, Doc. What, uh, what do you what, mean by, what do you mean by worst atheists? What, what, I'm joking. I'm just like no, the ones who've done on. a lot of damage, like uh, okay. Darwin and um, yeah, Dar. Was uh was Bertrand yeah. Russell? Was he? Yeah, was he, he, was English. he was English. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a lot of pretty pretty Darwin man. That guy. That guy set us back decades or centuries, man. But no. <laughs> anyway, the point being is that the point being is that Daniel Dennett said that thinks that and, and I I tend to believe this that uh we should have like a comprehensive religion courses being taught in yeah. like elementary school where you. That way, every yeah, every, and, and I would be for that because mm -hmm. I've gotten a chance to go into Moss and actually study and like live with them and right go up, yeah. into, to see like a, this is before I was a Christian, but I went and saw how the Buddhists live. They, they mm -hmm. said I'd make a great monk, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but that was a very empathetic, very, um, very eye-opening experience, and I think if we're gonna, if our goal is peace on this planet, yeah, then to try to destigmatize things, yeah, uh, would probably be a good thing. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm for. I know some people are much, much you know, really against it, but I think they should, we should expose people to all religions as early as you can, because that would <laughs> save indoctrination in the homes. Because you know, for, for me, the indoctrination is, is I think, is child abuse personally. So I think you, you need to teach it in school as early as you can as part of a, th a theology class. And, you know, you're not, you, you shouldn't be teaching that hell's a real place. Why, I, I think that's child abuse. I really do. Why would you teach your child if they're bad, they're going to burn, burn in hell forever? You know, there's no evidence of any hell or any afterlife. You know what I mean? And to teach them that, I think, really, really do think the indoctrination is child abuse. So well, teach them theology. I would definitely say that that needs to be taught at 
well, I mean, we're obviously going to disagree with that, but yeah. those kind of conversations as far as gov uh, religion should be had at home. But I think what the school should be doing is teaching courses like in critical thinking and philosophy because never, so, so I'll, I'll give you a little background information. My freshman year, my parents like forced me to go to Bible college, but that just turned me like into an atheist really. Yeah. yeah. And um, so my second year, my sophomore year, I went to like a community college. Yeah. And I learned philosophy mm -hmm. and that's whenever I adopted, like I was an atheist, but it was just like the last month I was there. I didn't know what I was, but I definitely knew I didn't believe anymore. Yeah. And so, and I'll tell you quite frankly, I believe that the professor was an atheist. Uh, one of the assignments he gave us was like, you got to find something more about the Bible. Like that was like an actual assignment he gave us, but he would never say it because what, what he was, because he didn't want that to influence anyone. Yeah, but yeah. he was just more giving us critical thinking skills. Definitely. And I could tell you this beyond doubt, like 90% of people lack that critical thinking skills, even inside of, yeah. yeah. When I go, when I see like all the pro right wing Trumpers, um, I, I just don't really understand how they get, have gotten caught up into that line of thinking. Yeah. Like I think if they had critical, critical thinking, and analytical thinking, they wouldn't be like that. But go ahead. Well, I, I totally agree with that. But I think the critical thinking as well is uh, the, the religious people. They're not thinking critically. I really, really believe that. Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah, say hello. This is my little daughter. She sometimes makes some cameos on her. Um, so so I, I don't, I would definitely push back on that. I mean, you, okay, people, Okay, uh, people might think that atheists are, uh, you know, maybe well researched or they have a, a logical reason to be an atheist. But the reasons why someone decides to become an atheist, you don't know what reason is behind that. It could be from education, it could be from a uh, studying, but it could be just because something bad happened to them, you know? No, that, no, 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 no. no. It, you sure. don't know the reason. You don't. You do not know the reason why. It could be well, for twenty different reasons. Well, no, you can't. You can't assume that it's a logical reason. No, but all an atheist is is someone that doesn't believe a religious claim. You know, like Scientology. Scientology say Zenu rules the galactic universe. You know, the universe. No, I, as a as as a, as a, a rational critical thinker, I don't believe that claim because there's no evidence of that. And I see that okay. claim exactly the same as every other religious claim. There's no way I believe that a Jewish bloke 2,000 odd years ago came back to life after being crucified. Absolutely no chance, no evidence of that whatsoever. So I do not believe that. So I, I, I do not think the laws of nature were suspended in his favour that day. There's literally no evidence of that. So I just don't believe it because it's improbable to me, highly improbable. Uh, I think you missed the point. You missed the point. You you, you do not know the hold on, you don't know the reasons why people believe or don't believe in something, Lee. You don't. And and I can guarantee you, if I start to apply the Socratic method onto you about history and about mm -hmm. what your claims on Jesus, I guarantee if you want, I mean, I will take you down that route right now. But I will tell you this: unless you've actually studied history, um, you are just going off of what other people have said to you. Okay. No, no, you I'm are going out. Of, no, I study history. You know, I like history. Have, as a, yeah, but uh, the, the Bible's not a history book. There's part of there's part I'm of not history. Talking about the Bible. Okay, I'm not talking about the Bible right now. I'm talking about how do we, okay? How do we how do we know things happen in history? It's not like a chemical By reaction where we could. Yes, but okay. Let me okay. Then I will take you down this. Let me. I will take you down this this rabbit hole for a little bit. Okay, exactly. so. All right. So let me ask you a question. Do you know what country started the South Korean or the Korean War? Was that no. North or South Korea? You don't, don't know. Don't. No, don't. Okay. So it was North Korea. But mm -hmm. if you go to North Korea, what country do you do you think they're gonna tell yeah, you yeah, 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 started yeah. the I, war? I, I understand the propaganda, yeah. Okay, okay the so propaganda. there's propaganda going on. Okay. There's also 
what I would call a, an erasing of history that happens, okay? So I'll give you a couple examples of this. I'll give you a couple examples of this. Um, are you familiar with a gentleman by the name of Toussaint Louverture from Haiti? No. No, okay. All right, well, I will tell you this. That guy was around whenever uh, Napoleon was uh, ravaging Europe. So you're gonna probably wanna thank people from Haiti after you, you hear this one. But so that guy had a slave rebellion in Haiti, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, as a result of that, um, Napoleon had to send a bunch of troops over and a lot of them wind up dying. And mm -hmm. what happened as a result of that is uh, the United States went to buy like New Orleans for like, like $10 million and they wind up getting the entire Louisiana purchase for $15 million. All right. Yeah. So it's like, it was a ridiculously pennies for, I mean, like pennies for the acre. So you have all of this relevant information that's actually really important because this, this is what stopped Napoleon from being able to rage the wars that he was raging in, um, in Europe because he lost this economic source uh, in the Americas. Okay. So why is it you don't hear anything about this guy in history? There's a reason. There's a very, very, very specific reason. Do you know why? No, no. I mean, obviously, I, I do agree that the victors uh, write the history. I, I totally get that. But William on, Wallace said that. Take him. I said William Wallace said that. Yeah, yeah. That which is a true, very true statement, isn't it? Yeah. He's like the. The victors write the history books. Oh God, I, that's a horrible accent. <laughs> Never yeah. You saw Braveheart. I'm sure you saw Braveheart. Yeah. But that, that's one of the first lines. But yeah. anyway, the point being is that his history has been deliberately wiped from most. Like you won't find him in any in any mainstream books. Mm -hmm. But it's because just think about this for a second. They overthrew the slavery that was happening. Yeah. In, 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 in the Americas and America sitting here with all of these slaves and it would be a, it's like if I'm beating you up and you're trying to call someone, I'm going to cut off that telephone line so that, yeah. um, you know, you can't call out. So th the point I'm trying to say this is, is that what you think about history is it's through def several different filters. Okay. Yeah. So the fact that some history gets erased, if you study mm -hmm. Egyptian history, you'll find this as well, that yeah. they went out of their way to like carve people off of, uh, you know, hieroglyphics and monuments yeah. and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I get that. it's not as black and white as you might think it no, to be, you know, for me, the reason, I mean, the, the, the reason I don't believe in the Jesus uh, narrative mm -hmm. is because of the laws of nature. That is that simple. It's that the laws of nature. Yeah, it, it, it's, that, that's what faith. That's that's why you have faith. You believe it. You believe that the laws of nature were not suspended. Uh, were suspended in its favor. Uh, but I've seen, the, I've seen the laws of nature suspended myself. So, for me, no. it's not that big of a. Yeah, I have. But you, you are yeah, talking I, about something that you haven't experienced. So yeah, you but, don't know what I've experienced. I could have yeah. went to lunch today with Jesus Christ Himself, and could you would that, have no idea about that whatsoever. Could, could, could you be wrong though? Are you, you're, fallible you're, you're, you're fallible, aren't you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So you you just claiming that the laws of nature have been suspended is not kind of evidence for me. You know, I'd like to. You, you have to prove you have to prove that with evidence, but you know, you just well, claim it with evidence, so you know. But okay, so so okay, let, let me ask you this then. Okay, so if I experience that, what kind of evidence uh, in my past something happened? Mm. Would suffice to you? Would I have to repeat? I would I have to repeat it again? I, I, I couldn't tell you what evidence would you know would um, would, would convince me, but you know, See, as, as Matt Dillahunty said, your God should know. So Matt Dillahunty, <laughs> as he said all the time, your God would Did, know what evidence would, would uh, convince me, and he hasn't shown it. You, you like that guy, Dillahunty? Yeah, I think he's good. Yeah, yeah, good, very good, very good. You don't find you don't find his tactics abusive. A little bit, yeah, a little bit abusive, but uh, you know the Christians, you know, hold their own. Some of them. I, I, I've interviewed a few um, people from his, um, from like talk atheist and um, yeah, some really good discussions. Yeah, you should. I think you saw one, but 
I, I've to date interviewed about 10 of them. So my, yeah. my Who's, mate, have you interviewed what? Seth and uh, Seth Andrews or no, no, no. That guy told me, no, that guy's like gigantic. Yeah, but um, see, I did interview Eric Murphy. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. who's on there sometimes. The I interviewed, yeah. yeah, Captain yeah. Captain Dadpool. He's mm. also on there with him. Yeah. Um also recently, which is a very nice gentleman, his name is at Kenneth Kenneth Leonard. Uh okay. that was actually one of my favorite conversations. But you know, speaking of perception, yeah. If you read a book called uh, The Invisible Gorilla, any chance you've ever heard about that? I haven't, no, no, go on. So, so this guy designs this experiment where you're asked to to see the the, the passes that um, these guys are wearing white shirts. Okay, so yeah. guys have white shirts and guys have black shirts, and you're asked to count the passes. And halfway through, a gorilla walks out and starts beating on his chest, and then he yeah. walks. Okay, you've seen this? Yeah, I've seen that concept. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you meet you, and you meet you, don't you? Because you're preoccupied. You're preoccupied. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you take into consideration that, like you, you get focused on atheism being right, or I might get focused on Christianity being right. You can miss some other things as it yeah. is. One. Okay. Two is that how we perceive the world, like our senses, they can be deceived. You know. Absolutely. Just since you're talking about me, well, yeah. because we're studying history, mm -hmm. and we're assuming the things that people wrote down are accurate, and it could uh -huh. be the case. I'm certainly no, okay. not. I'm going to assume that that that's that's what you know. Religious people assume that the you know, the gospel, the, the anonymously written gospels, people assume they're right and accurate. I certainly do not believe that. But I'm saying, what, what the point is, I'm saying because you're talking about history, is that yeah. we assume that things that people write down are accurate, but then there's yeah. there, there's there's perception problem, and then there's the fact that people lie. I mean, yeah. go figure. Yeah. People yeah. lie. Yeah. I mean, watch the interview with Mr. Andrew. You think, that, mm. you think that guy was telling the truth? Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that one. But uh, yeah, people like I get that religious. That guy was sweating like a dog. Yeah, you know, religious people like atheists like. Yeah, I get that. Who lies more, atheists or Christians? Who do you think? Depends on, depends on the person. I think. Yeah. Depends on the yeah. person. You know, I don't know. Okay, so this is kind of a funny question. <clears throat> Number three, but will Christianity ever recover from the damage that the Beatles did in the UK, or is it going to be forever on the decline? And in case anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, John Lennon said, statement uh, hurt Christianity. That's all. I don't think it's John a joke. Lennon's it's good. satirical. It's satirical. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Thought you'd be serious. No, no. I mean, to be fair, in England, there's there's you know far less Christians. Than in 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 the secular bloody uh, United States, which really which I find really bizarre. We're the Christian nation, and America is the only and first secular nation. And you ain't going to get in the White House without it being some kind of religion. So you know, and in, in England, uh, the MPs' politic, uh, sorry, religious views uh, doesn't even uh, no one even cares. It does never come up. Mm -hmm. But in, in in you know in, in the US, if you if you openly say you're an atheist, you know you're not going to get in, are you? That's just that's that's a fact, isn't it? I think at the moment. Yeah, the only person who who really has been in office that I can think of has been Bernie Sanders. Was he in? Who's, yeah. I mean, you, it, it, was he in the Dizzy and Heights? Though he wasn't. Obviously, there was the founding fathers. They some of them were deists and maybe atheists, but uh, no, definitely not atheist. No. Uh, but you ain't gonna get. I, you're gonna I this this can get a little bit tricky because you probably technically can describe, you can, but you're not gonna, you know, you, you ain't gonna get the votes, are you? So even well, if they are atheists in, in private, they're gonna say, "I'm a Christian." Yeah, yeah. So, you know. and and that is probably is the case with a lot of them. But but as far as yeah. being deist, um, by saying that the founding fathers were atheists, that's really inaccurate. I mean, to say no, that they were Christian yeah. as well is is, in, yeah. is inaccurate as well. You know, yeah, the, um, I because atheists really, I yeah, because yeah. they would be more inclined to say there is a creator God where we're getting yeah. Yeah, rights exactly. from. But to say like, oh, it's Jesus Christ and everything he said was true. Yeah, yeah, they, of, um, yeah. 
both sides, both Christians and atheists present sides that are really not accurate. And mm. I will say this. Do you know Holy Kool-Aid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yesterday, Holy Kool-Aid did an interview with, uh, with an atheist historian. And the atheist historian just absolutely rips all of these arguments that atheists commonly make um, yeah. that are just totally not supported by uh, by fact, you know. And so exactly. you have to you have to be able to separate what you believe from yeah. like what is out there in the universe. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like if I watch a debate and a Christian gets creamed, I'm gonna say just by the laws of debate and, and argument and rhetoric, this guy lost. Now it doesn't mean yeah. Christianity is right or wrong. It's yeah. this particular debate debate he lost. Yeah. So um atheists, I, I really don't know why they do this, but they'll say something like like uh the most secular states are like atheists, like they're the most happy or well developed. But but a lot of the states that they point to, I mean actually have official state religions. So it's like yeah, they've been built by Christians. Yeah, and like, yet, like Sweden and Norway and these places. Yeah, like, so yeah. It's, well, Sweden up till 20 years ago had an official state religion. Yeah. And yeah. I think Norway till about 10 years ago. Yeah. But but either 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 they do now, like Denmark, or they have until very recently had official state religion. So this isn't yeah. like an atheist utopia. A lot no. of these places have 60, 70, 80% uh, believers, so I believe it's around sixty percent in the UK in, in the UK in England. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, I mean, I saw one of your questions. Does religion come up over a pint? Now I've got Pockets. a real, I've got a real active, I've got a real active social life. I'm going out later, but um, it absolutely rarely does. You know, comes up it rarely. I, I don't know any Christians. I don't know anyone that goes to church. Uh, I was surprised about one gentleman. Uh, I won't mention his name on here, but he was a, a beer drinking, brilliant pool player. Uh, and I just mentioned uh, the God questioned him, and he said, "Yeah, he fully believed." I was like, "I was shocked." So that really shocked me. So I don't know who believes or not. I'll be honest with you. You, you shocked because he drank, or just he just didn't? Believe? No, I, I was shocked because he's a real geezer, bit of a lad, and then all of a sudden, wow, well, bang! He fully believes in Jesus and things like that. I was shocked. Because he's, yeah. you know, he's one of the main geezers in, in the area, kind of thing, you know. I, I mean, I have, bad. I have a few pints. I used to be like a really bad alcoholic, but yeah, I, I've learned to be able to enjoy it in moderation. And I'll tell you this: whenever I wasn't a believer, mm. I went to Kosovo, yeah, and I was staying with a Serbian guy, and I went into his house, and as soon as he, he like he's there at the door with some shot glasses. And some like bourbon, really good bourbon. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we're gonna get messed up, man. I was all happy. So he yeah. takes a shot, we take a shot, and then he did not offer me any more bourbon the whole time I was there because it was like a culture thing. Yeah. And even the um, bourbon was brewed up by uh monks. Literally, yeah. monks brew up this bourbon and they they drink like the excess of it, but it supports their their missions that they're doing, you know. So yeah, all right. So let's see. I have another question here for you. Uh, wait. So so really, you don't have like friends or family. No one's like religious. Uh, well, yeah, my wife actually, my wife's side, uh, all all her all her family. So her mum's um, her mum's a, a Mormon. Uh, her mum. Yeah, my 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 mum. Yeah, she's a Mormon. Um, I've got uh, my missus' sister. She's a, a nation of Islam, uh, and I've got the other couple of brothers. I think they're Mormons as well. One's a Mormon pastor now, actually. Really wow, good. you got a mix. So I, I, I did initially start talking religion with them because I love a debate, but yeah, I just didn't want to insult them, so I, I don't really debate any any uh, religion with them now. So you know what I mean? Um. We did a podcast yesterday with the with the with the Mormon guy. So yeah. I I've interviewed about three Mormons uh, so far on the podcast. But um, I mean, I think you know it, 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 the the belief is just is just batshit crazy. Excuse my French, but you know, wow, you know what I mean? It's, it's obvious. I, you know, but but I 
I find atheism to be the most batshit crazy idea on the planet, honestly. Um, yeah, but no, you're, you're, you're almost an atheist as well, really, aren't you? You, no. you don't believe in 5,000 gods. No. You believe in one. I just don't believe in the other one. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, first of all, you can't assume you just said, I believe in only one God. You don't know that that's true. Um, well, you uh, haven't let, asked me. Let, you let me haven't ask asked me. Question, let me ask you a direct question. Do you believe there's only one God? I believe that there is a, that God um, has maybe created other gods. Um, and angels and demons, maybe we would probably also describe those as gods. But I, I, I think if you read like Genesis 6, it talks about like demons coming down and having sex with women. Mm -hmm. And they supposedly create like these giants. But I yeah. think anybody who would have saw that would have thought those were gods so hold on let me finish let me finish let me finish when you take a look at some like when you take a look at like the whole ancient aliens conspiracies and stuff that go around and all of these um you mentioned the sumerians mm -hmm. you mentioned yeah you mentioned them um well they have some pretty dang complex uh stories about how these beings came down here and gave yeah. technology and such mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the sumerians specifically they have like records showing nine planets in the solar system thousands mm -hmm. of years before we knew that fact yeah. so it leads me to believe that something else is going on here and so maybe god did create a bunch of other gods i it, it's not it i find i would find that completely consistent inside of uh mm -hmm. christianity that he did create other gods because th therefore whenever he says you shall have no other gods before me that kind of implies that there's some other gods out there so um does that anyway, that? yeah go on anyway i would think the, the, the yeah, though but i didn't i didn't get to make the point i wanted to make because the point right. i wanted to make was that mormonism or scientology those are pretty out there but I would find both of those far more plausible than atheism actually being true. Well, because well, atheism doesn't make any claims. So atheism doesn't make any claims. So atheism you saying atheism isn't true, that doesn't make any sense. Do you know what I mean? It's not making any okay. claims to be true or false. And, so and then, obviously, obviously the Mormonism, Scientology, Christianity, you know, uh, whatever name it any other religion i see those all as the same just claims without evidence or convict well claims so, without convincing evidence sorry. so then okay so then what would you describe as a belief that absolutely no god exists like that's that's not an atheistic claims so what would you what would you call that word hard atheism um, no uh what is that now that's it well that's that's a, that's a Gnostic, that's a Gnostic atheist, isn't it? A Gnostic, okay. That's a Gnostic atheist, yeah. And, and so and you're, you're a Gnostic atheist. atheist. You're adopting the burden of proof, then. So yeah. even talking scale is a six point nine, wherever it is, yeah, on his scale. So I I, I I tend to agree with Dawkins on that. So I I don't believe, but I don't know. So I'm a, I'm a agnostic atheist, absolutely. All right, that's fair enough. Oh, but you would want to respond to the giants or something like that. Yeah. So this this uh, Nephilim giant thing, yeah, coming down and having sex with a bit of the dragon. Mm -hmm. Where's the evidence of it? I mean, do you, do you do you personally actually believe that happened? Well, I would say one of. By the way, you think my daughter looks like me? You you smack yeah. some hair yeah. on me. Exactly. You'd yeah. have this little baby. Not like she's got hair. So I she does. <laughs> <laughs> she just turned four. She just celebrated her fourth birthday. So. Nah. Happy birthday. Happy late birthday, Leah. Um, so, okay. So he, here's what I would say. If you're talking mm -hmm. about evidence, the fact that pretty much every society that has ever existed has had this concept of something out there coming down to this earth and, and, and kind of like maybe even call it like mixing, maybe even with animals, because if you take a look at a lot of the like the Egyptian gods, a lot of them are like hybrids, you know, yep. they with jackals, um, sparrows. Uh, you yeah, have like yeah. uh, oxes and stuff. 
There's some yeah. pretty bizarre stuff. And in fact, if you go to, you know, lots of different places, uh, Africa and South America, there yeah. is this, and I'm not saying that, I'm, I'm not saying that I believe that all those are right, but the fact that so many people are saying something so similar, that leads me, that, that is some kind of evidence. You may say it's well, only 10%, but it, I would say that that, well, that's, 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 we, we, we've, you know, as a, as a human species, we've got imagination. So that's, for me, that's imagination. Do you know what I mean? Telling stories and things like that. So Telling the know, same kind of stories. Yeah, yeah. That, we all evolved. We all evolved at the same time. So we all have got the same cognitive, you know, uh, stories up there. So, we, you know, we, we, we got with imagination. So, you know, it doesn't mean anything. true. There's no evidence of anything true. So, so, so let me ask you then. You, 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 you honestly believe that the the pyramids were able to be built completely just by human, um, by human hands? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of human hands over a lot of period of time. But yeah, absolutely. There's no do you know? Of do you know how far those things were quarried and brought yeah, down? Yeah, 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 miles. I mean, that down the river, some of them. It was, it's been kilometers. And, it's actually yeah, kilometers. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, use yeah. kilometers. Yeah. That's a well, joke. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, why not? You know, humans are, uh, we're, we're brilliant. Look at the stuff we have done. You know, there's no evidence of any supernatural force uh, uh, building the pyramids. Just labor, basically, labor, labor, labor. Labor and being able to line up the, the, the pyramids with the stars uh, of Orion. Yeah. yeah, why not? There was some, there's some clever people. I mean, there's some clever people back in the day. I mean, the, the world, uh, the earth was uh, uh, measured thousands upon thousands and thousands of years ago to a quite accurate, uh, uh, you know, with a stick in a bloody hole. So that was the, 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 the circumference of the earth <laughs> measured thousands yeah. and thousands of years ago, and it was, wasn't far off. So you know what? Clever people out there. I, I got to send you the link to that um, talk that that guy, Holy Kool Aid, had with that historian yeah. because he was talking about how there was like this belief that um, it was widely believed that the earth was flat, like in Christopher Columbus's times. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm he, on a few actually, uh, weeks with the, the, the flat earth people. You don't believe but, the earth, do you? The earth is flat? Yeah, you don't believe the earth is flat, do you? I don't know. Of course I don't. But mm. I, no. but, but similar to North, let's, let's just take like North Korea, for example. I can yeah. tell you. I've never first physically seen anything that would tell me that the earth was flat or round. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I'm going off of what other people are telling me, you know, yeah. same thing with history. I've never examined any old Testament. I can't speak Hebrew or Greek yeah. or anything like that. I've never, I mean, I've been to Israel, but I've never yeah. been to any ruins or can say definitively if Jesus did or, you know, or didn't exist from historical uh, records or what. I, yeah. I know that if you wanted to make someone disappear from history, you could you could do that, you know. Yeah. You could or, kill or people or Well they could write people in, couldn't they? They could what? They could write people in history, like Moses. Oh, yeah. There's no kind of evidence of Moses, is there? Do you know what I mean? Uh people, people, people I, people how do you know that though? How do you know that? Let me ask you this. How do you know that? Well this is how do you know that off, uh, this is going off the scholars. Who, who, is, who is their life's work of, of, mm -hmm. of, of rent, basically. So I'm not saying they're correct, but I'm saying they're saying uh, there's no evidence of Moses. and no, There's certainly no evidence of the Exodus uh, through through the desert for 40 years. There's literally no evidence of that. So... You know I mean? um, and that history what? is maybe written in. People are written out. That's written in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't around when it happened, so... You know, not only that, but I, I, I tend to lead into a somewhat more of an allegorical um, yeah, interpretation of a lot of the Bible. So, for example, if you were to tell me um, that, like, let's just say you just said something like, like Adam and Eve didn't exist um, or something like that. Well, I would already, I have a, a more liberal interpretation of Genesis uh, as yeah. it is, because I don't think if God, like, I don't think we would be able to understand how exactly things are being created. Like, mm -hmm. whatever physics he's using, if he did create 
that he's telling us a story that we could try to wrap our mind around. So I wouldn't, okay. I, I've never felt, I've never felt like obligated to believe the earth is 6,000 years old. That's not something I believe in, you know, I okay. believe that the earth is billions of years old. And, um, but so, I don't, so again, I, again, I say you're a progressive Christian because you don't follow the Bible, which, which I'm glad you don't. You know what I mean? I don't follow the Bible. Where do you, you get that from? Well, you just, you don't agree with the six to 10,000 years old. And that's kind of in the Bible, isn't it? The, no, you know it doesn't I mean? say anything about. Yeah, but they've worked it out, haven't they? The, the, the scholars have worked it yeah. out from the stories and, of the time and they've, they've worked it out yeah. to six to 10,000 years old. You know what I mean? But there's, there's a multitude, and I mean a multitude of different interpretations for that. Uh, Absolutely. So, for Absolutely. example, for example, even the fact that God is making man from dust, okay, um, that could be seen as somewhat uh, allegorical, but it could also be s implying, you know, man is carbon based. Uh, even the mm -hmm. earth is carbon based. Yeah. So that also talks about that the the life came from the sea. If you if you yeah. actually read it, so you have like multiple things. I think I think there's room for evolution, and I also do think that um, it is. If I'm being honest, I like I believe in a two different separate um, uh, creation accounts that are happening. Like when you read one and two, and they're like, "Oh, these don't these don't align. They're not right." Well, yeah. I think it's pretty clear that they're two completely separate. Um, yeah, not only that, but 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 like according to Christian theology, like Adam and Eve were not created to die in the first place yeah. okay so yeah. they could have existed for a billion years in mm -hmm. the garden of eden and then history gets kicked off like we start tracking what's going on after that so it's like mm -hmm. they start aging after they get out of the garden of eden anyway there's a multitude of different ways to um but i definitely believe in jesus that's that's without question i mean do you believe in any uh, of the hundreds of others uh, creation stories and what you know why would you just Settle for the Bible one. You know what I mean? I didn't settle for anything. I mean, I had a religious experience where uh, I was in my room and I was an atheist and Jesus Christ spoke to me. Uh, that's why I'm a Christian. It doesn't have anything to do with settling for anything. I mean, um, I didn't, you know, I looked into all the, I could show you my whole body. I mean, I have all the world religions yeah. tattooed all over me. And um, so I, I'll show you this one, 516. I try to show you this one because I told you, this is an atheistic philosophy, and you're like, oh, there's no philosophy in atheism. <laughs> well, this is a North Korean. This is yeah. a North Korean. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, go going on to, I, I like to go on to the next question I have, but okay. like, do you do you think in the UK people just like keep their faith private? Um, yeah, and, some must do. Yeah, some 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 must do. Yeah. But uh, do you, do you think like that that's a healthy way to go about it? Um, just trying to you know yeah i mean i mean there's an adage that that they, they say you shouldn't talk about religion and politics you know in polite society so yeah maybe people do take that on i mean i like to speak about both i like a little row every now and again but uh i don't know yeah some i mean i didn't know that guy who i spoke about earlier was religious he hid that he hid that really well do you know what i mean okay. so, I don't know. He, the guy i spoke about earlier a bit of a lad bit of a geezer oh right 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 the the lad. Lad. you know and uh, I never knew anything about his religion, and that, that shocked me, to be fair. But like I say, I don't know any religious people apart from really the, the missionary side of the family. Not any of my circle of friends, uh, I don't hear them going on about uh, going to church or anything like that. So, See, but I think that, you know, I think that the best kind of impact we can make is just on an individual level, you know? Yeah. Like e even let's take God out of the equation for a second. Like think think about like Russia for 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 a quick second. Yeah, they are able to have so much power mm. because a lot of people um, want their want their gas and oil and stuff, right? Yeah. But the truth is, is that we could all significantly reduce the kind of power that we consume, you know. And if everybody were to do that, yeah. it would lessen 
how much uh, reliant we are on countries, you know, like the Middle East, yeah. there's a whole lot of Middle East um, um, that we enrich a lot of people from the Middle East because of that. Yeah. And, and I think just in general, like we could all eat a lot less because actually food production requires a lot of energy as well, you know? Yeah. So I just interviewed like a politician from America who's like really big into, um, who's really into environmentalism. And yeah. he was saying that that was one of the biggest things we could do to, to help um, with going green and helping our environment was just eating less. Yeah. Um, because the, the amount of consumption that we do, the amount of waste we produce is really yeah. just not good for the world, you know? For me, I'm all for a bit of environmentalism. I get that to a, to, a, to a point. But I think ultimately the science will help us going forward. So, you know, what's that? Invention is the mother of, uh, is the... Uh, Necessity. The Necessity. Yeah, that's right. So if we need something to protect us from something, science will prevail. So, you know, I've, I've got faith in this. Not faith. I'll rephrase that. I've got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got confidence. Um, yeah, m a lot of confidence in science going forward. So, and then you know, ultimately, we, we might move to Mars or another planet. We will do after eventually because yeah. our sun's going to blow up, isn't it? So, um, Elon Musk is talking about going to Mars. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. He's an absolute legend of a man. That guy's crazy. That guy's. He's but then he also he also said we're actually living in a simulation right now. So I think none of this really. That? Yeah. He he's, he, no, he's no, been no. really. If you get me that link, yeah. I'd love to see that link because I don't. I, I don't can. Think you believe you said that. I I can guarantee you that that he's he's talked about that many many times. That yeah, not only it, that, I'm gonna be it might have been for shock value, honestly. Maybe, maybe yeah. But he has definitely talked about mm. um, humanity being like in a. Um, Matrix simulation. simulation so. yeah. I mean, even that, may, that may be. Like, we don't know, do we? We don't know. Yeah. So, see, last question is, how do families stay united with huge differences of opinions? And you were you were just mentioning about multiple different views inside of your yeah. uh, family. And so, what, do you have any uh, thoughts on that? I think, I think, you know, because he's not brought up around the dinner table. You know what I mean? So... No one kind of preaches to the other one. So they've got their home life and their home, you know, their own thoughts and their own uh, memories of their own childhood and, and bring it up in the family unit. And then they go off and do their religious thing privately with their own people. So in the family, it doesn't get spoke about really. The odd mention of the Bible or the Mormon, the Mormon Bible gets brought up occasionally. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I can't really speak about it now in, in the home because. I'll get myself into trouble. So, <laughs> but is your wife like your wife is a believer? Um, she doesn't know. You know, I mean, she, she she's uh, she, she's not an atheist, so I think she believes in something. I, I think she's more of a deist. Maybe I don't know, but that's for uh, that was due due to her be, uh, being brought up that way. Maybe as a, there must be something there. But I said, well, must I? There's no evidence of anything there. So you know what I mean. That's that's for me. But we have a little discussion. I've got in trouble with her a couple of times as well, so we we rarely discuss it now. Still there. That's good. Look at this. Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, go on. Elon no, Musk says yeah. we may be living in a simulation. Here's how we might tell if he's right. Can you see this? Yeah, but uh, is, have you got him actually have you got Elon Musk actually saying it? Or is that just some random quote? No, I mean you can. This isn't. This wasn't like a one-off thing. He he was saying this, yeah. but I mean this is a this is a couple of years ago. So yeah, um, yeah I'm, you, I'm, you, should, you should look it up. It's yeah, an interesting sure. theory. If you so ever get a get chance, into, uh, can we get into what's your definition of a cult? Uh, my definition of a cult. Yeah, it would be a group of people with fringe beliefs that um have unorthodox views well, that uh, um cool. an additional you, hold on hold on hold on you can't you, ask me for my definition well, you can't ask me for my definition and then cut me off so it would be a group of it would be a it would be a group of french people p 
people with fringe beliefs who have views that society um, would find unorthodox or uh, very uh, very peculiar. Okay, can you can you Google the dictionary definition? Uh, hold on. I so can pull it up right here. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah, so if you read out the, the first part of the dictionary definition of the word cult, and that fits nicely with Christianity. So look, a relatively small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange or sinister. So yeah, under that definition, I would definitely say that atheism is a cult because they got the, no the, the idea that this all could come about by itself and that there's nothing behind it, like there's nothing that caused it no one, externally. No, no. Bro, you got to let me finish. Hold on, you got to let me finish. You got to let me finish. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, most people would find that to be a really bizarre view. So if you told me that you thought Pixies farted out the universe, mm -hmm. I would find that infinitely more likely of a scenario than atheism saying, well, it just, it just happened. Everything just, the big Hang bang, on. the singularity, a in my opinion. Atheists don't say that, though. They atheists, don't say that? Atheists don't you, say that. You sure about that? Yeah, well, hang on. Well, I'm an atheist, and I say uh, we, do know. Not know the, we do not know the cause of the Big Bang or the universe. So we do not know the cause. That's all I do know at the moment. So it could be well, there's a cause, but we don't know the cause. So it's not out of it. It's, it isn't just spontaneous, what are we, but we don't know the cause. But you, uh, theists like yourself have filled in that gap with your specific story and there's hundreds and hundreds of stories to yeah to you know propose uh, uh -huh. an answer to that gap of our knowledge uh -huh. so all atheists say that i know of and i'm, I'm certainly an atheist and i'm saying it is we do not know that cause what theists believe is just their random story there's no evidence of your story you know what i mean well we, 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 if you like to come back and just talk about this topic, because I don't, to, 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 to say that atheism is merely a lack of belief, to me, Definitely. is a nonsensical idea. It is absolutely the, nonsense. The, theists, theists claim there's a God. Atheists yeah. don't believe their claims. Mm -hmm. Like I say, if I said to you, uh, Zenu rules the universe, you do not believe that claim. Is that, am I correct in saying that? Um, I don't believe it, but could it there be true? Go. Sure, why not? There you go. There you go. So I, I'm saying exactly Lord what you're saying. So, you, so you're almost an atheist. You just believe no. in, well, you know, in, in, in gods or gods, whatever. But you don't believe in some gods. You know what I mean? Any chance? Really yeah, but that's that's totally misapplying. That's totally misapplying uh, what the word atheist means. I mean, that's it's with I mean, atheist means without to, God. That's it. To, to say I don't. Yeah, but to say I'm an atheist is is not true. I mean, an no, atheist saying, doesn't saying, believe in any gods. I believe in yeah. in at least yeah, one yeah. god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But so you, that's you're I don't. An atheist, you're an atheist, you know, with, with five thousand other gods. You don't believe in Zeus and Apollo and and uh, some of the Roman gods, Neptune and people like that. Yeah. But yeah, you, to say I'm an atheist in another god is it's that's like contradictory you're coming yeah. up with contradictory ideas here because yeah. an atheist says there are no gods mm -hmm. so if i don't believe in if i don't believe in one particular god let's say lord xenu as you're talking mm -hmm. about that yeah. doesn't mean i'm an atheist in that i just don't believe in that that doesn't mean yeah, i'm an right. atheist in that view that's exactly it, it, what atheism is though that's exactly what atheism is though you don't believe well, in xenu i don't believe in the god of the bible exactly the same we would have to untangle that one, and uh, really? if you, maybe that could be round three. But I will Definitely. ask you this before we go. Um, did you happen to see Religulous by Bill Maher? No. No. Uh, it's a really good – uh, He he's like a secular humanist skeptic. And whenever yeah. I was an atheist, this was like one of my favorite movies. But he goes out to, he goes out to Hyde Park. You know yeah. what Hyde Park is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been many times. And everyone, everyone's out there <laughs> debating. And oh my God, this is totally true. I should pull up the link right now. Start watching mm -hmm. it, but maybe I'll maybe I'll do that right now because it's so yeah, funny. Yeah. yeah. You want to see it? Now send me the link if you can, and I'll watch it after. Yeah. He 
he comes up and he starts like proclaiming. He brings like a little chair and he gets on it and he's proclaiming about um, Scientology's theology. Yeah. And hearing it, you're like, oh my God, is, is do they actually believe this? We've yeah. been picking on science. We've been talking about Scientology, but I will tell you this. I got into a conversation with a guy maybe about 10 years, maybe about 10 years ago. Yeah. And he starts telling me that he's like trillions of years old. And I'm like, I'm because I've never heard anything like this before. And I'm just kind of, mm. he's a really, really smart dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's a wealthy guy. And uh, he had a business, he had a wife, everything. And I'm like, and then I, it, it took it took like 10, 15 minutes to figure out he was a Scientologist. And yeah. I was like, oh, you're a scient I'm like, you believe in Scientology. Yeah. And he's like, well, Scientology is like just a label, like da 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 da. Mm -hmm. That's pretty out there. So anyway, uh, you got any last thought? Yeah, I mean, uh, just, just 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 a quick comment on that. You know, yeah. For me, I, I I see all religion as you see Scientology. I think it's all way out there. I really do. But we can get to that another time. Sure. I mean, and I did too for a big part of my life. But then it's like, <laughs> any chance you saw Squid Game? Yeah, yeah. I watched Squid Game, yeah. So, so you know the, the naked dude on there, the guy who tried, the, the naked gay guy? Um, yeah. We interviewed him actually on this podcast. We interviewed the other VIPs. Well. And he, he's, he believes in Hinduism. Yeah. And he talked about how you and I could sit around and debate, try to explain what chocolate is to someone yeah. who hasn't eaten chocolate. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's not going to make sense to them. Yeah. There's actually another thought experiment about yeah. this called like Amy's room. Yeah. About, yeah. yeah. About a lady who's like locked in a room or whatever for, with all white. And then she finally gets to experience it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, know that. I would say this. I understand why you would think that. But mm -hmm. after you experience it, you just take a step back and say, oh, my, I don't have any doubt of that anymore. Because mm -hmm. I was a drug drug user, alcoholism, womanizing, mm -hmm. part, party, gambleaholic, crazy, crazy, crazy lifestyle. And when mm -hmm. I came to Jesus Christ, I took everything I gathered from all of my journeys overseas mm -hmm. and I put it in a box and I trashed it all, all of my most prized possessions. And, and God actually told me to go to my computer and delete all of my photos from all over the world. And I'm telling you, if I wasn't 1000% convinced of that, there is no way I would have deleted even one of those pictures. I had these pictures on my computer, on two external hard drives, backed up two separate times online and yeah. on social media. I had to delete these things like 5,000 mm. pictures six or seven times a piece. Mm. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't have done something like that not, unless oh. I experienced something that absolutely unequivocally convinced me of this. <laughs> so it's good. But it, you, you're convinced, but it doesn't mean it's true. That's all That's I'm saying. Fine. That's all I'm saying, yeah. But, 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 but when, when atheists like to, when they talk about faith, they like to think we're just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's Christianity. Like there's a bunch of religions on the wall, and we just mm -hmm. take a dart and throw it at the wall. That's not at all the case. Cause because in that sense, I would say I don't have any faith that God exists whenever he's spoken to me and he's he's done miracles in my life. I've he's materialized things in front of me. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, I have no faith mm -hmm. on on that element. But there are some things that are totally illogical about Christianity. And I'll be the first to admit that the Trinity, um, you know, so many other religions, like that's what causes a great deal of skepticism in my mind. Like if you are God, you're out there. Why are there 6,000 religions or gods as you talk about? Yeah, exactly. I have exactly. some different explanations, but at the yeah. end of the day, it's like the problem of evil, it's answerable, but it really just ultimately comes back down to God. In that story like you can't really judge people whenever you create the being that creates the evil so there's no real way to get around that like you 
So I, I do tend to disagree with some Christians in that sense, as yeah. far as um, my theology is a little bit diverted, but um, maybe we could, we could break that one down, uh, the problem of evil on another talk. I really enjoyed yeah, our talk. I'd like to, the next talk, I'd like to literally stay with your, uh, what, why, and, uh, you know, the evidence for you, why it convinced you. I'd like to start with that. that that'd be pretty good. Yeah, you know. Obviously, I, you know, I'm absolutely massively skeptical. I don't think it happened, but yeah, I'd love to discuss it. That'd be good. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You can take the host spot next time, and you could put me on the. Okay. The hot seat. You could give me some questions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that, that'd be good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any last thoughts on our talk, man? I really had a great time with you tonight. No, no, it's good, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for <laughs> giving me the opportunity again. Love you. You know what I should do? I should release. The text messages. I should put a link. I should screenshot everything <laughs> of the first messages you sent me. <laughs> Call me a bloody. You guys use a word that rhymes with bunt cake. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very it's frequently. The term of endearment in UK. Right, know. right, right. <laughs> but I don't think you're meaning it very. It didn't seem very no. enduring the way you're saying it. That but yeah. Anyway, thank you for your time. Um, yeah. This is what we're trying to do right now because mm -hmm. either way no matter where we fall on this uh, line, like we're on the planet together, you know, we're all being flung into the universe together. And so yeah. I had talked about the comprehensive religion uh, course. And I think, you know, I'm not a demon. You're not a demon out there. You're not, you're not about whacking people off in your basement. And, you know, like that made something completely different in England. You know that, didn't you? What was that? Whacking. Whacking people off, that means completely something different in England. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your, but I mean, you're not like, you're not, uh, you, usually that word whacking is like a. Murder. Is, it's usually never like a mob people. Yeah. Whenever know, they yeah. kill people, they call it whacking people off yeah. or the Peaky Blinders. So. Yeah. Anyway, we're not yeah. like, we're, we're both humans. We're both family men. I have a daughter. You have a wife. I you know, I'm married to Korean and we're both trying to figure things out here. So I think if we could respect each other yeah. and get, show a little bit of goodwill and charity, I, I think we're on a goodwill, um, yeah. you know, this planet, I think the good, the planet could use a lot more goodwill. So with that yeah. being said, I want to thank you for joining us today at RG podcast. Look us up at www.rgpodcast.com. Check us yeah. out at Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Spotify, and uh, tell us what you thought about this comment, uh, this with a comment below. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And uh, we look forward to seeing you back again on our next episode of RG Podcast. Goodbye. Thank you very much.